Hello everyone! Today I'm going to do something different and fun. I'm going to be doing a random drawing prompts challenge. There are a few artists who do drawing prompt challenges, Casey Golden being the first one to come to mind. I love watching her videos. I wanted to try this out for myself and I wanted to add some extra levels of difficulty because, well, just like making things hard for myself. Why do I do this? One level of difficulty being that I will attempt to do everything digitally. I'm not the strongest digital artist, so this will be a great practice opportunity. And since I want to eventually morph this challenge into animation practice, I need to get better at digital art. And the other thing that makes this harder is I will be using a total of eight random prompts to assemble my scene. So let's get into it. I'm using this website called artprompts.org that I recently discovered. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to try this out for yourself. So first I'm going to get my characters. Number one is a siren. Let's refresh this. Okay, so we have a pale skinned woman with long mint green hair and nails both decorated with pink flowers. That's, that's a lot of description. I do like how most of these prompts come from community members that use the website. So you get a really good variety of different genres and different levels of detail. Most of them are fantasy themed, but some of them aren't, which I also like. So let's get our next one, a hipster in a coffee shop. Hmm. Well, that's a, like an environment there too. So does that count as my environment or does... Hmm. Maybe I'll try to combine it with the environment. Next we have a creature. Let's see what our creature is. Come on, load. Load. Uh, is it going to load? It's stuck. Oh, here we go. Mag magma elemental? What is a magma elemental? What is that? Is that like a lava monster? What is a magma elemental? I don't know what an elemental is. Somebody know what an elemental is? And does it mean someone who can control the element? Or does it mean something made out of the element? Hmm. Well, let's see what our environment is. Load page. Wonder if I should go with coffee shop or if I should add something to it. We'll see what we come up with. Autumn trees. Oh yeah. That'll definitely that'll definitely go with coffee shop. Alright, now we need our three objects. And our three objects are a honey wand. That's one of those uh, little sticks with the ball on the end that's got the little grooves in it that you get honey out of the pot with. I think that's what that is. I hope they're not talking about like a magic wand made out of honey. That would get kind of messy. Old sneakers. That can be on the hipster. That's definitely going to be on the hipster. And what's our last one? Beauty potion. Um, hmm, how are we going to put that one in there? Well, this is going to be fun. So let's get to it. Welcome to the speed paint. I think that I'm going to uh, play music for the most part. But I'll pop back in every once in a while to let y'all know what's going on, if there's anything interesting, anything useful. Not that I can tell you anything useful in digital art. I don't know very much. So this first part, of course, is just laying in all the shapes, laying in all the elements, making sure I'm not forgetting anything, make sure I have a place for everything. Um, and then I'm kind of refining the details. This is what I came up with for the uh, magma elemental. Um, that might not be what it was referencing. An elemental might be something completely different. But I chose to make him into like a lava monster. And he works at the coffee shop. 
he warms the coffee, or well, actually he probably just makes the coffee. He's the coffee maker. They don't need a coffee maker. They've got their lava monster slash magma elemental. He brews all their tea, all their coffee. I mean, two seconds in his hand and it's already boiling. So, really what do you need? I decided to also make the girl with the mint colored hair a coffee shop employee. I figured she could be some sort of dryad since she's got the flowers and the green hair and we're already kind of in the fantasy realm anyways. We've got a siren, we've got a magma elemental, so why not? And this little old fella here is ordering the beauty tea. That That's how I fit beauty potion in here, was I put it on the menu. How else? It's a coffee shop. And it's in a fantasy realm. Why not serve beauty tea? He don't need it though. He's a cute little goblin. I think that's what he is. Yeah, we'll go with goblin. And my favorite part about this whole illustration is my little marshmallow creatures. If you follow me on Instagram a long time ago, I think it was sometime at the beginning of this year, I posted a little marshmallow monster carrying a cup of coffee. And that was actually from another old prompt that I never finished. That was, um, I don't even remember what the prompt was. It had something to do with cute monsters. And I came up with a little marshmallow monster. And I thought, what better time to use him in an illustration than here. I mean, we're in a coffee shop. They can be the little waiters. So cute, but they can't. Yeah, they can't touch the coffee. They'll melt.
So I tried something slightly different this time um, with the shading. Usually I do all the colors first and then I add the shading. This time I did the shading first and then I finished coloring. I, I do like how that turned out because usually when I'm working on the colors I'm trying to think of where the shadows are kind of like I do when I'm painting traditional watercolor or acrylic is you got to think about the highlights and the shadows all at the same time but with digital art you add them on different layers so I'm, I'm used to when I'm coloring it thinking about all of the shadows so that alters the way I color things but this time, since I put in all my shadows first, when I went to add the colors, it automatically looked like it should look. I didn't have to, I wasn't drawing it in going, oh, it's too bright, it should be in shadow here, and then try to darken the color. Mm, the color ends up being too dark. This saved me from that. Um, I don't know if digital artists have this problem, but being a traditional artist going to digital art, that was a problem for me. And this actually solved it, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, and by digital art, I mean like cartoon style with cell shading. I know there's digital illustration, which you do more like traditional art, but I just want to make that clear. Siren, I wanted to go with more um, blue-green colors because they're generally depicted as seaside creatures. Um, most of the time they have some sort of mermaid element to them. But since she's on dry land, I couldn't give her fishy tail. So I opted for giving her very pale blue-toned skin and pointy ears along with some kind of mermaid colors in her clothing. So at the end, I wanted to give it kind of a hipster style uh, photo uh, what's, filter. That's the word, filter. And I wanted to kind of give it this um, bokeh kind of effect with the light dots everywhere. I do like the final result. I think it brings the colors together a little bit better. Um, the blues and the reds, you know, all the warm and cool colors, it kind of melds them together a little bit. So very happy with that. So here is the final illustration. I hope you like it. There's all kinds of fun little elements in there. I really wish I could have added more, but this illustration took me six hours. Like I said, I need to practice my digital drawing skills. Um, so I didn't have time to add any more. But I hope you like this video and found it fun. And if you would like to see more like this, just let me know in the comments. Leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see videos like this. I try to post every week, either Tuesdays or Fridays. Check out the description box below for a link to the artprompts.org. 
along with links to my Instagram and Facebook accounts and my Etsy shop and my Threadless shop. I hope you have a great day. Bye.